Welcome to Seabrew Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Being true to yourself, uh, this is quite a interesting one, and the reason I'm bringing it up is some of the stuff people don't get I do, but the, the, the fact is I do stuff um, that works for me uh, in many levels. This, I could have been a lot more successful in life if I dropped my standards, dropped my morals, um, turned a blind eye, etc. Um, I have some friends purely because they know I'm not corrupt. Um, they do, some of them do deal in corrupt practices, but the fact is they respect me because uh, they know I'm not corruptible. Um, I have very little association with them business-wise, but as friends, uh, they're perfectly fine. But the point being is, for me to live my life, I live it the way I like to live it. Now, a lot of people make compromises. Um, it's like now I'm contemplating whether I should quit work, come to Spain and try and build things here um, and enjoy our life in Spain. At the same time, I'm balancing should I stay in work and gain more money. Um, so my freedom part of my life is telling me to actually say quit. Uh, move to Spain, everything will be all right, and it normally is. Uh, my financial side of my brain is actually turning around and say, wait six months, um, build the money up, buy a house, do whatever you need to do, but get the cash flow going. So for me, that's my two moral compasses, compasses going on there because the financial one is uh, for sustainability for the family, and my freedom one is basically as an individual um, it's saying you're happier when you're doing stuff on your own um, which is why they're sort of yin and yang of each other at the minute so for myself that's that's me but i know other people will get forced into things like you will work saturdays uh, but it's not in your contract but if you want to continue working here you will work saturdays that's a prime example where somebody's stealing your Saturdays from you. Uh, the same as you will work over. Uh, we need this done by Monday. Uh, cancel your holiday, etc. These are things where people in businesses steal your freedom. I don't let them do it. I'll be honest with you. Somebody said that to me. I'd quit the job and use them as the re reason I quit. Uh, they would actually be the lever of me actually leaving the business um, to say they breached their own contract. The reason I'm quite str strong on this stuff is you only have one life. Um, even if you, I mean, I get frustrated with taking stuff back to a shop. Um, I'll be honest with you, car for electronics drive me crazy. The TV. Um, locks out on USB uh, videos. It normally gets to the last 10 minutes of a movie, then it'll lock out. We had to change the, the electric fan at the moment, it's quite noisy. I'll be showing you how to fix one of those in the next video, um, which is only three, four days old. Um, what else have we bought? Pretty much everything that we bought from Car4 electronic wise had to be replaced. Now, when I say replace, take back until you get one that's working. You do wonder what their quality control is. But the frustrating bit is the time. Because you going back and coming back, that's an hour of your life you'll never get back again. Um, that's why when I got this yin and yang with business and freedom, my freedom bit saying you're getting older. Every day you're getting older. So you need to be working towards your freedoms, not towards the work. And then my business mind's going, oh, you must do this. And I'm like, okay, my freedom guy's going, you do realize you give half of whatever you earn in your lifetime back to the British government anyway for the taxes and everything for your death taxes, etc. So you start thinking, well, hang on, freedom wants me to take me. <laughs> and I, that's, that's the sort of thing I have going on um, with myself. But there is nothing that is not... Um, my own choice um, 
that's why I say be true to yourself. If somebody's saying you will work this weekend, you will do this, you will do that, I would say look look at your options because that's, that's somebody that doesn't value you. And also, it has a knock-on effect. It's affecting your uh, your own life. It's, just, it's, it's affecting your freedoms. It's affecting um, your happiness. Um, and being true to yourself is what make you, makes you happy. Uh, like I said, I don't deal in corruption or anything else. That's why I can sleep at night and I'm happy. You know, um, what matters to me the most is my wife and my kids. Pretty much outside of that box, I really don't care about. You know, I've got a brand new Mercedes in the UK and I've got a uh, old Astra in Spain. Doesn't matter which one I'm driving, I'll be honest with you, I couldn't care less. Um, because to me, it is just a means to an end. It's just from A to B. It doesn't need to be the latest car. The latest car probably gives most people misery in the UK um, because they're worried about the debt payments. It's the same with the mortgages in the UK. When I look at even this year, several friends have bought properties and they're struggling, yet they were okay before. Financially, they were okay because they rented to their budget. A mortgage drives them into taking on a bigger debt than they really wanted to do in the first place to get the standard they wanted. So financially, um, it's difficult for them. Emotionally, it's hard for them. And as a couple, it's an extra strain on the life that they didn't really need there. So that's why I'm very, very... Um, yin and yang with the business side of things because quite simply I don't like stress in my family life um, work can give me a bit of stress I don't mind that I'll take that as it comes but nothing should impact my family life and I'm quite quite strict on that and a lot of companies don't get it a lot of people in companies don't get it um, but the family unit believe it or not should be the most important thing on the planet um everything else outside of that should be secondary um that's in my opinion um because everything else is replaceable you know if your house burns down and you lost everything you can build it again you lose your wife you never get her back again you lose your kids you'll never get them back again so why be so materialistic which all gets back to being very deep and uh, thinking about yourself and what you want in life, what you want to achieve. Be honest and truthful to yourself. Um, and don't get dragged into the rat race because it's a life of misery for most people. Um, sad to say that, but you know, I know myself being in it. My happiest time is actually sat here. <coughs> in Spain, enjoying the sunshine um, and I could basically give up work and sit here for the next 15 months doing absolutely nothing which I wouldn't do um, but it's a position I'm happy to be in I've got friends who have got big houses and everything else but they've also got bigger debts who's, who's got what, what they wanted in life I'm honest to myself, this is what I want, this is what makes me happy we're in a rented apartment at the moment. We could buy one. We've had a look at one. Um, and we're thinking about it at the moment. Um, but that mortgage would pay, be paid off in two to three years. At the same time, I sit and look at other friends. And they're investing heavily in property that is in the inflated market. They buy expensive cars to live the same lifestyle. Uh, and they they stack up debt like no tomorrow they're not true to themselves that's not the happiness they had when they were a kid it's not the happiness they wanted uh, as a teenager or even a young adult it is basically being put into a box um, often it's what the wife wants it's what the uh, expectations is in life it's not what they wanted but you only have one life so be true to yourself